This is a first call to prayer played through the loudspeakers of the train. We're Karen Nate. We've been traveling the world full time for the last four years. We're currently in our 97th country of Bangladesh, where we spent a couple days in one of the most densely populated cities in the world, spent the night floating down the river on a 100 year old paddle steamer, explored a remote floating market. And today, we're making our way back to the capital city of Dhaka. Here we go, we've packed this tuk-tuk down. We decided that instead of taking one of the many overnight ferries again, we'd try out a new mode of transportation today, so we're taking the long way back to Dhaka via overnight train. But first we have to get to the train station, which will take most of the day. town of Barashaw and the overnight train leaves from Kulna. We were supposed to be on a boat for most of the day, but it's some kind of religious holiday. So instead we are taking a combination of bumpy CNG and car to get there. We figured this slightly inefficient route was a fun way to see more of the country. So we'll see what we run into between here and the train station. Say goodbye to our tuk tuk, jumped on a ferry that's gonna take us across the river where I think we're meeting up with a car on the other side. <laughs> ah! All of the locals jump off before the gate actually lifts so you don't get run over by the vans. No, no, no. No problem. We have finally made it to Kona. We have switched over to a new tuk-tuk and now we are finally on our way to the train station. We think that's the train schedule. Every Ooh. single thing. We can't even read the numbers. Yeah. If we were here alone, we would be completely useless. Thank you very much. They've opened up a special room for the Westerners. Oh, this is just for us? It's like a, an airport lounge, but it's in a train station. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's not just for us. <laughs> Time lapses tend to draw a lot of attention. <laughs> Hello. Uh, picture? picture? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. I thought that police officer was gonna get mad at me for having my camera out in the train station. Just wanted a picture. So we have first class tickets reserved for tonight's train ride, but we've just recently learned that there are two different types of cabin configurations. Some have four beds, some have two beds. It's a giant goat. The guy's walking. <laughs> That's like a cross between a goat and a llama. <laughs> and it's really stubborn. <laughs> so we'll see where we're sleeping tonight. We're gonna have two bunk mates. <laughs> 
Alright, this is our room for the night. So I'm going to give you a quick room tour before our roommates get here. We have four beds. Right now there aren't any sheets or anything on them. I think they're going to be bringing some. Table, trash can. Pretty firm. It's going to be okay. Um, looks like we have some outlet. There's a bell. I heard it. I didn't mean to. Sure, sure. Oh no. I didn't think it was going to actually do anything. I hear something ringing. Lights. This one doesn't do anything. Or, uh, uh, roommate. Uh, nice roommate. to meet you. Oh, nice thank you. Thank you. We just met our new roommate briefly, one of them, but he just left, so I'm going to quickly wow. finish up the tour. We just learned that this seat goes down, so we can sit like a normal seat until it's time for bed, and then we'll turn it into a bed. The bell is still going off, but a guy in an official hat walked by, and I think he knows that it was an accident, it's going to be fine, but it's still going. We have some stairs. That's how you get on the top bunk. There are some hooks to hang a bag or a coat. The door in this room locks, and there's a curtain, and there's a curtain here. There aren't big cracks in this window, so that's a plus. It feels like there's AC somewhere. It feels nice in here. It smells nice. Looks. Oh, somebody just walked by with a Lysol can. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Mosquitoes. I'm all about the spray. Huh. Also, there's tons of storage space under these seats. Wait. Yeah, all of our stuff fits under this seat alone. Also, I just got a view of the two-person room next door. It's pretty much the exact same. Both just two, beds. <laughs> two less beds. Preferable, but like honestly, this is this is not bad at all. And our roommate seems really nice. <laughs> This is a first. Call to prayer played through the loudspeakers of the train. Uh, you will feel comfortable by this, by this way. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Not <laughs> American uh, train are much more better than Bangladesh. Definitely. I've never ridden a train in America. <laughs> <laughs> the train attendant was so confused at why I was bringing a camera to the bathroom. He offered to hold it. I was like, no, I'll take it in. <sighs> it's bathroom tour time. So, the first thing I noticed is that it has an overwhelmingly strong smell of Vicks Vapor Rub, which is actually really nice. Also, there's toilet paper that has been so hard to come by in public restrooms. There's also a bar of soap, running water, a hook to put your stuff, which is actually really helpful in the bathrooms that have like one of those sprayers as a bidet, because typically in these squatty potties, everything is wet. And so if you have to set something down, it's like nearly impossible to go to the bathroom, so. In addition to the toilet paper, they have one of the little buckets which start moving again. It's also wet, it's loud again. So we're traveling with our local guide, Mamoon. He chose to save some money tonight and stay in second class, so I'm going to go see where he's spending the night. This is second class? Yes, it's a snake car. It's a you know. That is my uh, seat. <laughs> That's your bed for tonight? But uh, in the airport station, don't leave. No, I'll no. come. No. Then we leave. Okay. At the airport station, okay? okay. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, well, now I'm going to feel guilty sleeping in my bed tonight. What's it called? Uh, it's name Roshogulla. And uh, it is Pantua. Uh, the, uh, both are good. Uh, you can take this one. This is our traditional food. In any other one, we naturally. The whole thing? Give uh, all at once? Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is it fine? Mmm. <laughs> so it's delicious. It's like a soggy, syrupy pancake. Thank you so much. They did bring us bedding. We have a giant duvet, a sheet, and a pillow. And this looks like something my grandmother would pick out, but I love it. Seems clean. I think this goes 
over the bed and then you cover up with this. Or maybe this is like the mattress cover and you cover up with this. Do you know? This is for your bed. This is for your bed. And this uh, is for your bed. Okay. Okay, so this goes on the bottom. This is the cover. Thank you. I'm gonna make my bed and get ready to go to sleep. Pretty cozy. Good night. Would you like me to turn off the lights? Thank you. See you again. Nice See you. to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Nice meeting you. Can we communicate with you via YouTube? YouTube. Okay. Bye. Bye. Five thirty-one. Right on time. How did you sleep? I sleep well after twelve. <laughs> Back to Dhaka. How did you sleep? <laughs> it was not good. I think for once I slept better than Kara. I think this is the first time ever. My bed was closer to the speaker and it would just go off with these random announcements that I couldn't understand. I think it was like night. every time we stopped it was like a re-intro to the train. Our roommates told us it was like safety and... Bathrooms. Yeah, but so loud. <laughs> And the first time, I was like, oh, we're here. And I looked at my phone, and it was one. So I've been asleep for like two hours. And then the next time, it was three. And then I just quit looking. I just assumed you would get me up when I'm over there. <laughs> oh, I feel pretty great. I need coffee. I will say, Bangladeshi train travel exceeded my expectations. Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. And our roommates were so great. <laughs> They were so kind. Yeah, I was prepared for the worst and it was really nice. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. We figured this slightly. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> My new friend Mamu. He told me he's a businessman. I haven't figured out which one yet though. <laughs> we have made it to Kona and we have switched over to a different tuk tuk. We're finally on our way to the train station. Woo! Good thing we have yeah. them on it. It looks like art. Yeah, Mamun, how long have we been together? Nate. Oh, right hand. Right hand. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, it's a video. Thank you. Yeah, it's a video. Okay. okay, big selfie all together. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi, your country name? America. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. He speaks really good English, which I have mixed feelings about. I kind of wanted the person not to speak English so I could like talk and not feel like I was bothering him too much. You know, when you can understand someone, it's harder to tune them out. But like if they're speaking a different language, it's just like. Whatever. He is very nice. And he offered to switch beds if we wanted to. I like him. There is one thing that I have not figured out with the squatty body. Like I said, the floor is always wet and most people are wearing pants. And so when you like squat down, your pants get all over the floor. You're not wearing tight pants. So I found that it takes me like five minutes to go to the bathroom because I have to tight my pants so they don't touch the dirty ground. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. 